um, I'm very keen to discuss leadership, for example, because uh, cricket is probably one of the only few sports where leadership still matters. So you run the show on hands. Uh, it's and, and being the chairman of the cricket board is the, the hardest thing that I find is that even though I'm supposed to be in control, I'm not in control. Uh, because I'm sitting on the sidelines and I'm praying hard, hoping that, you know, Babar Azam will not make a mistake and hoping that, you know, Rizwan and Baba opening pair will uh, stand firm once again. So um, you're not really hands-on. And when you s all your life you've been that, so that really has been a challenge for me. Uh, but it's also about developing system and developing process and developing leadership. And I think uh, good systems uh, develop leaders. And I think uh, that is where we have lacked consistency uh, in Pakistan also. And, and what you see in this Pakistan cricket team is a small Pakistan. So we are, if you look at this team, you know, it has a lot of promise uh, and it has remained upwardly mobile. So, um, and that's why I'm hopeful for the next 75 years, because if you have the processes done up right, and if you um, believe in, in yourself, and if you've got clarity, I think you can achieve greatness. And to achieve greatness, obviously, you need a, a strong, thriving system uh, and a very clean environment. Um, so um, why, uh, why cricket as a sport for leadership? Um, a, I don't know how many of you are Leos here in this house. Anyone Leo? Star Leo? So you're a leader because I'm a Leo. I know that I can lead. So I mean, and I'm not boasting, but you know, it's part of our uh, sort of star value. As you talk to Sachin Tendulkar, you talk to all these greats of the game. They've got this appetite of a 10-year-old um, uh, and they don't seem to retire at all. And I think uh, that is one way to achieve greatness. Uh, that you're so much involved in what you do and you enjoy it so much that you become eventually good at it. But cricket is an ideal sport where you can learn a great deal about leadership. Uh, because you're the captain, obviously you're not threatened. So because you're not threatened to lose your position, then you can make those important decisions and strong decisions. As long as you have a plan um, and as long as there is clarity, as long as uh, you have good environment. The 1992 World Cup campaign, for example. So we were getting thrashed, basically, and we were not supposed to make it to the finals. But it was a couple of things that happened. A, we had Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan as our, as our spiritual source. So every time we'd get thrashed, we put the... And in those days, probably it was CD or a cassette, I'm not too sure. 92 was probably a CD. So we put the CD on and the Kawali would play. And so instead of... Uh, thinking about how bad we've been once again. We just listened to the spiritualism of Nusrat and it gave us a bit of peace. And the other was never say die spirit. So believing in yourself, never say die spirit. Um, and so what happens when you lose in any environment, there is, uh, there is breakup of relationship. Um, and so good leaders don't allow that. So even when you lose, uh, you're making them somehow realize that there is light at the end of the tunnel and this is not bad. And eventually, if you get there, then obviously you forget about this. Um, and, and so we learned the trade of leadership from basically from that 92 campaign. Um, and it has helped me personally um, in commentary, for example, uh, because as a lead commentator, you've got to tell what is happening. Um, what are the mistakes being made? You know, what, what is the field position? You know, how bad a certain uh, tactic is? Um, and then obviously as, as, as heading the, uh, the, the cricket uh, board, you've got to pick the right leader. And, and even though Babar Azam is still learning, but I think he's far mature than his age suggests because he's 28, but he's got this, uh, this great temperament of a 48 year old. So, um, which is great. Uh, but there's still a lot of work to be done. And then picking the right team, picking the right moments, you know, not indulging yourself too much as an ex-cricketer. You want to get involved completely, but I think uh, de decent leaders allow you to be yourself. I think it's important that you, when you put a system into place, then you've got to trust that system and the lieutenants that you've hired and, and so that they're made accountable when they fail. Otherwise, too much of... Uh, uh, indulgence can lead to uh, 
destruction as well. Um, it's, it's about patience also. Leadership is about patience that we, I learned personally as an opener. Um, because even when you're, you're playing well, you're playing for the team and it's a team sport. So you, you help each other, you play for each other. Um, it's about discipline, clearly. Uh, it's about getting along with difficult people. Uh, and there were plenty of them in our core group, actually. So it's difficult. Uh, but then you learn to sort of forgive and forget and move on. Um, and it's about understanding your roles also, clarity. That is so important. Um, uh, and also thinking big. You must have dreams. That is so important. So when we started this Pakistan Junior League, which is a draft system league for under-19s, the one thing that I told the kids, you know, and there were kids from England, from, um, from uh, Australia, that, uh, you know, we are here to take care of your dreams. And I think that is so important from leadership aspect. Um, because you, you believe uh, in what you want to become and you've got to think big. Uh, sky is the limit. And there should be someone helping you in achieving that dream. And a good leader would always do that. Um, the other thing is keep it simple. Uh, at times, we just overindulge in uh, analysis. And ours is a very, very strong analysis wing that we've got here. I don't know why we have the analysis wing because Pakistan cricket is based on chance. It's based, it's based on reflex action. It's based on instinctiveness. Um, so I, I tell these guys that you're wasting your time hiring the, the best analyst in the world because it's, it's not working. You know, you go through a process and you still fail and you wonder why are we spending so much of money? Um, because at the end of the day, and I tell all these guys also in T20 cricket, it's also important that everyone has got to be a leader because there's hardly any time to spoon feed these guys. There's no time. Uh, in hour and a half, uh, the gig is done. Uh, and so it allows the team actually to think quickly on their feet. Also, this T20 format, which I absolutely like, would have failed miserably if I'd played it, but still enjoy it completely. So um, next 75 years, I see... Um, our system producing good leaders. Uh, we've gone through hell in the last few years. Um, you see, when I was doing my MBA at Punjab University, and there was this tussle between IBA and Punjab University, there were only two institutions that were churning out uh, business administrators. And I mean, I, I just couldn't continue sort of doing a job because I was not cut out to do a job. So... Um, but it helped me tremendously. So to become a good leader, for example, you've got to be sort of not educated, but you know, you've got to have some common sense so that you can have a team in place and all that and, 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 and pick the rights and the wrongs, you know? So that is so important that your decision making, it, it sort of, it, it, it reinstates your decision making. It, it reconfirms whether you've taken the right step or not. And that has helped me tremendously in my career. But the next 75 years, I see hope. Um, I think we'll get better leadership. Um, everyone should play cricket. I think all kids should play it because uh, it, is, it is so close to nature. Uh, you know, you, you get up, you, you pull down, you lose, you win. Uh, you've got to remain grounded. You've got to learn from your mistakes. Uh, and carry on, and that is what a good leader should be and should do. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a haphazard kind of a presentation here because I was not prepared at all. So, so I'm, I'm trying to connect all these things. So I may not come across as, a, uh, you know, uh, as, as brilliant as Karishma, but the you know, um, thing is that we all love this sport. Uh, and I am clearly in a very privileged position uh, to be running it. Um, uh, I miss commentary, actually. I, I'm desperate to be fired, actually, so that I can go back and do the stuff that I love. Uh, but uh, uh, this, this last year hasn't been too bad also. So we, we, we made two finals. But the fact is, unless y you win the silverware, you'll not be considered a great side and a great cricket board. And that, that is what I tell Barbara Azam and his men, that, you know, you've got to get the trophies uh, so that, you know, uh, and and, and they, they deserve it also. They put in uh, a very, very, um, I mean, every time they go out there, um, they put in a good effort. But uh, still, World Cup final, making it to the final wasn't bad, but I was there actually. So uh, it was extremely painful because there, are, there were 80,000 people and 70,000 were Pakistanis. Uh, it's just quite crazy and they behaved tremendously well.
uh, which was which was great for the team also. Um, so thank you once again. This is a great initiative, Riaz. So well done. Uh, I hope to be part of it more next time also. Thank you. Thank you all.